Have you heard that Thunderblight Ganon was one of the toughest bosses in Zelda Breath of the Wild? Have you heard others say that you should save it for the last boss, or at least have the Master Sword? In this video, I'm going to show you how I beat Thunderblight Ganon without the Master Sword, and with only 5 hearts, and we're getting started right now. Now the only other boss that I've beaten so far is Divine Beast Varuta. Having that ability really helped me out. There were times when Thunderblight would be so fast and I couldn't really do anything to avoid getting hit. Having that automatic resurrection plus the temporary bonus hearts that it gives you uh, really helped me out in this boss battle. So after you have completed and unlocked all the terminals in the Boris, you'll head right over to the main terminal in the middle cavity of the gigantic camel. When you attempt to activate, Thunderblight Ganon makes his appearance. Now the first thing that you want to do is jump down to the lower level so that you have more room to maneuver around. It'll also allow you to keep your distance from Thunderblight and hopefully help you when you try to do your counterattacks. Now hang with me to the end of this video because I've put together 5 tips that will really help you with defeating this boss. Okay, so soon Thunderblight will start his phase 1 of 3 attacks, which include a combination of green electric orbs, which are fairly easy to dodge, and then he'll have a quick attack, which can be absolutely deadly. Be careful on the green orbs if you're standing underneath the middle platform, because if the green orb makes contact with the green electrical container thing, it'll cause the, the space underneath the main terminal to become electrified, and it'll cause massive damage and cause you to drop your weapons. Now like I said before, you do want to keep your distance and you want to target the enemy, so hold ZL and kind of keep a uh, pretty good distance away from Thunderblight. Although you will have to keep it close enough so that your lock will actually work, but you'll just have to find that, that neutral zone. Now after shooting some green orbs, he will typically spawn a new shield and perform a super fast three step attack. However, if you're locked on and you get your timing just right, you can perform a flurry rush. Now if you don't get the timing just right, you can still do a backflip to avoid his attack, and then you can perform a counterattack, but you'll have to bust through his shield. And when this happens, your weapons will deteriorate quicker, so just keep that in mind. Guys, if this video is helpful for you, then do give it a thumbs up. So when a portion of Thunderblight's health has been reduced, you will be introduced into the phase 2 of his attacks. He will start dropping metal poles into the ground and then electrifying them in hopes that it'll kill you with one shot. So you're going to want to head to a higher level so that you can kind of see what's going on. And when he drops one of the poles, you're going to use Magnesis to grab that rod and then you're going to hold it near him. And when he tries to electrocute it, it'll also knock him out of the air. Once you do this, it'll deal massive damage, and that will be the end of his phase 2 attacks. Now unfortunately, the further along that you progress, the harder the attacks become. He will continue to use attacks from phase 1 with the green orbs and a 3 step quick attack, but he'll occasionally add a double swing attack, which means that you'll have to perform 2 backflips in order to attempt to get the flurry rush. And lastly, he'll add in a guardian laser beam, which is super deadly. Now at this point, there's two options you have to finish off Thunderblight. If you're good at timing the Guardian Laser Beam deflection with your shield, then you could deflect the laser back at him, delivering some major damage. And after deflecting the laser beam, it could take a couple more hits, but he'll be finished. However, the second option you have is to duck behind a platform or a wall to avoid the Guardian Laser Beam. And then when he tries to do his three-step quick attack, then you can continue to dodge his attacks with backflips and attacking him with flurry rush. So for me, I'm not the best at deflecting the guardian laser beam and I was able to defeat the boss with a series of counter attacks. Leave me a comment below and let me know how you defeated Thunderblight and which option you chose. Also let me know which part was the toughest part of this battle for you. Now here are 5 things that I learned during this battle that will really help you out. So number one is you're going to want to keep targeting Thunderblight at all times so you can be ready to dodge. There were some instances where I'd lose the ability to lock onto him and I believe it was because I was too far away. So just try to find the right balance of distance there and be ready for his next attack. 
Tip number two is that you may want to stock up on weapons before attempting the boss fight. If you can't get the timing of your backflip down, you'll have to fight your way through his shield before getting a good hit on him. Unfortunately, this will break your weapons very quickly, so bring extra. Tip number three is you're also going to want to bring lots of extra food. Now, before this fight, I purchased a bunch of cooked meat and lots of bananas and different types of fruit. I could use the meat to fill up most of my health meter, and then I used the bananas to max it out. Tip number four, is, I kind of mentioned it earlier, but you may want to at least have the resurrection ability in your inventory because it's a super beneficial thing for you to have it during this boss battle. Tip number five is something that I kind of learned the hard way. While it may be tempting to try and get some extra hits in after you've landed a good combo on Thunder Blight, it's likely not worth it. It really doesn't speed up the, the entire boss battle that much, and if you do stay back, it allows you to target him once again and prepare yourself for the next onslaught. Up next is a playlist dedicated to Zelda Breath of the Wild how-to videos, so click that and keep learning more. And if you're new here, then click the round icon to subscribe and check out more of my videos.